Hi everyone, so I want to share with you guys what we have in our hospital bag. Um, I have one separate for my son. He's going to be going to grandma's house, so he has his own luggage. And then I have my own personal bag with my baby's clothes in it too. Um, my husband's just very simple. He just didn't, he doesn't think he's going to need anything. Um, so he's just probably going to take like the camera bag and a few other things um, here and there. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys. Um, that way you guys can take a look and see what we have going on and hopefully get some ideas. So I'll start with what I have in here. Looks like this is all of the baby stuff. Um, this is all of our, all of the baby's um, items. I do have a zero to three months um, sleepers and I have some newborn. I also have some headbands and I'll show you that in a minute. So with Michael, I did have some problems with him latching. So I'm taking this this time and hopefully it'll help. And then this is my RX for a breast pump. I'm taking some snacks for my son. And I don't want him to see it, so I'm going to put that away right away. Um, some feminine pads because we all know we are going to need them. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have a C-section and I will still need that. So that is that. And I, looks like I don't have anything in that zipper. So that's what I'm going to... So that's what I have going on in this bag. Let me show you what I have um, in here. So now let me show you what I have in this bag. Um, these are just some, those are her headbands and I can show you in a minute what's in there. Okay, so I have this outfit. Okay, so I have this outfit, um, some pants and this is like an all pink outfit um, for her. And then I have this Cloud Island sleeper. Um, this is the line from Target and this is in a newborn size so I am taking one that's a zero to three um, and I am taking this one this one is a little bit different because it just snaps and I believe this is from Carter's um, I also am taking some and then I'm taking some washcloths just in case I need them and then last I am taking this um soother it used to be michael's michael never really liked soothers so we're gonna give it a try and see um we may not even use it and these are the headbands i'm going to be taking i just laid them out so you guys can see we do plan on taking some newborn just basic simple newborn pictures at the hospital so uh, so i'm taking several of them okay so that's what we had over there so now in this um zipper we have two swaddle blankets a white one and then this print one that's like in pink flowers i have a white shirt that i'm not too sure if i want to take because mm. i know that there's going to be blood and i'm not sure if i'm going to be ready to okay. toss it out since i just purchased it and i am taking some socks um can't remember if they provide us with socks at the hospital but i'm taking them just in case and i'm also taking this dress this is a long maxi dress with sleeves it's um the kind that kind of crosses in the front and they're nursing friendly it's really long and it's really soft and stretchy so i think it's going to be very comfortable for when we come back from the hospital and then over here I have some socks, shirts, PJs for my son. And then I also have some PJs for myself as well. Um, I have a nursing tank top. And my PJs. It's a two-piece PJs. So I'm taking that. So that is all I have for myself. I didn't want to overpack tree. since I am packing for two kids. What is it, baby? Oh, it's a tree, yeah. Okay, so in this zipper, I have some nursing pads, a toothbrush, and a toothpaste for myself. And I have another one for my husband. Um, and then I do have some wipes, some sanitizing wipes, 
uh, deodorant from The Honest Company. Um, I wanted to have something that's natural because since I'm going to be breastfeeding. And then this doesn't want to focus, but it's a sanitizer. Um, hand cream. Diaper rash cream, just in case. Um, and then this is a hair gel. And I did pack it in this individual um, small <laughs> container because I didn't want to take the whole thing. And it's just for my son and my husband. And I'll probably use some of that if I need it. And then I am taking some body wash, um, shampoo, and a loofah. And then I am bringing some facial wipes to refresh my face during the day. And looks like that's it. I don't have anything else. Um, like I said, I didn't want to overpack because I am packing for two kids and myself. Um, my husband, he didn't want to pack anything. He's pretty basic. He doesn't really need much. And the good thing is that we don't live too far from the hospital. We're probably like five minutes away so if we did forget something or if he realized he did need to change he can always come back home and grab what he needs and looks like that's everything I have for myself and the kids now this one this is Michael's little luggage it's super cute it's from Target let me show you what we have going on in here. So we have some PJs. We have a couple extra shirts. Some shorts. Now Michael has been potty trained. But when he's not home, he tends to have some accidents. So we are taking training diapers and some wipes. Just in case. Um, that way we don't. Just in case. And then we are taking his leapfrog. He's already asking for it. Okay can borrow it for now baby um michael is about to turn three and he really enjoys it so if you guys been looking for something to entertain your three-year-old i think this is a good one and then in here i don't want to i don't want him to see but i have a lot of snacks for him and i don't want to take them out because he's going to be asking for them to eat now so like you can tell we have some um you know just a lot of snacks for him so you're not taking those out but you can kind of get an idea we just have some snacks training diapers wipes in case he needs them some pjs and some extra clothes to wear and this is all going to grandma's house and obviously when he's ready to come to us then we're gonna have this um ready in the car in case we need anything from this from his luggage um so yeah that's what we have for michael and then lastly i am taking a nursing pillow because um i really do need it especially if you're gonna have a c-section you do need a little bit of support in your abdomen area you need kind of like something very soft and you know babies tend to kick sometimes so this kind of protects the area and it's definitely a must-have for me and that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and got some ideas we will see you guys next time bye